Hey everyone, today we're going to be working in the pages and form settings um, of the WPE members plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ. To get there, um, on the left side here, you choose under WPE member, choose settings, and then go to pages and then form settings. And today we're going to be working with the fields that exist on the registration and on the actual profile page. Um, so the, the reason they could be different is because when you're asking someone to register to your website, you might not necessarily want them to fill out a really large form. Um, they could just fill out the mandatory fields and then from there, after they log in, they can filter profile fully if they choose to. So we can make choices on what shows up on the registration page as well as what shows up on the profile page. And we can decide what, which fields are mandatory. And then in the end, we can also choose if there's not enough fields for our requirements, we can choose, we can create custom fields for that. What happens when you log, when you first install a WPE member, it'll actually create the registration page for you. Um, that's already done. And what it does is creates the page and puts this short code inside of it. And for the, for the profile page, we can create that manually. So I already did that, and what we do is put this short code inside of it. So I'm just gonna go to pages here, and you can see it. Okay, so there's the profile page. I'm gonna grab the URL from that. And paste it in there. And click update options at the bottom. Okay, so that's all set up. Now, in order to make any changes to the fields that show up in the registration and in the profile page, what we do is just scroll to the bottom of this section here. And here's the registration form field. So we can decide which ones actually show up during registration. Currently, it's username, password, email, the membership level, which, is, which isn't editable. It's just... Um, sort of a label that indicates the membership level that someone's signing up as. Okay, so then in um, besides the membership level, we also got the first and last name. All right, so we can choose which ones are mandatory and which ones actually exist on this page in this area here. So if we want them to include their title, we can specify that there. If we want them to put in their phone number during registration, and we can make first and last name, let's make first and last name a required required fields. And we'll ask them to put in their gender as well. Here we can specify whether or not we want them to ex accept the terms and conditions before they can even register. They have to put a check mark in the box. And then if we do that, we could put a URL to the terms and conditions page, which will show up in the registration form that they can click, read, and then come back and check mark the box. If we don't want this field to show here, we can actually just hide that by doing that. And a lot of times um, when you're when someone's creating a new password, there's also a confirm password field in order for to make sure that they actually know what they're typing in for the password. So we can include that on the form here. It's not there by default, but we can include that with, by just check marking that. So I'm gonna save these settings and then we can see the difference in the registration form after I refresh. Okay, so now the title field shows up in here. And we also have gender and phone number that we added. So if we click on register, we'll see which fields are required. Um, we, we marked it so that naturally the username and password um, are required and the email address. And we made it so that the first and last name are also required. And we did that right in here. So just by selecting these boxes here, that made the first and last name required for registration. All right, in a similar way, we can also define which fields show up in the profile. So naturally, anything that we ask for in the registration form, we're going to want them to be able to edit in the profile form. All right. 
And if we make anything required in the registration form, it makes sense to make it required also in the profile edit form as well. So all these other options are checked by default because once they're already logged in, they created their account, they're already a member, we may want to gather more information from them, including a thumbnail image. So let's update the options here. I am logged in as a, as a free user from, from another browser. So we can see what the actual profile page looks like. And here's the way it was before I made any changes. There's no gender in here. But now I can refresh this. And we can see the titles in there and gender shows up at the bottom there. And we can and again we can specify which fields are mandatory and which ones actually exist in the form at all. And that all shows up in this section here. We make those selections based on the preferences for our website. And that's really it. Um, let me in order to actually allow the registrations, um, there has to be at least um, one membership level. And I created that membership level on a previous video, and I'll show you that here. And I made this the free membership level in order to allow the registration process to, to happen. So I put a check mark in there. I took the ID from that and then put it right in there. Otherwise, it says this site does not allow free memberships. And I didn't set up any payment settings for any other membership levels. So I, this is a mandatory step. So if you see that there's you're not able to do any registrations, um, at least make sure there's one membership level set up in that you you specify the free membership level here for testing purposes okay beyond the customization for the registration and profile forms we can also add in some custom fields and in order to do that the first thing we want to do is under general settings here there's a checkbox here to enable those by default this they're disabled so we can enable those there and then head right across the top here, far right, you'll see the custom field settings. We'll click on that. To go with the example here for a drop down, we'll choose field type drop down, and then we can choose um, the field name will be continent. And let's make it required. And we can put these values in there. And display order is a mandatory field, so I'm going to put in a 1 in there and then click update options. All right, so now that we added that in, we can go to the registration form and we can refresh the page and see that continent now exists in there. So, and then all the choices are there. And these will be the values that get stored when those choices are made, the first part of this. And then what shows up in the drop down list um, for display purposes is what shows after the arrow here, as you can see. And again, we could have specified where that was. We did. We specified that as a required field. So when I click on register, it's going to indicate yes, that's that's required. And that's all there is to it in terms of customizing the registration and profile forms, and then giving you the ability to add custom fields. We can go beyond that and uh, there's more flexibility, but I'm going to leave that for a different video. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is. Thanks for watching.